How can I keep from singing? Level one. Lesson seven. The staff. Imagine a road. But let's say that you want to walk across that road. You might need a crosswalk. Sometimes a person might step on a line, or that person might step in between a line, or in the space. Now, let's say for a moment that we're going to add some more lines. And let's take a walk across these lines. We're going to walk on a line and in a space. Line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. Here are all the steps that went on the lines. And here are all the steps that went in the spaces. Now, we don't write music on roads very often. Usually we do it on white paper with black lines. So here are the lines that we write music on and we call this a staff. Also in music we don't usually stand on the lines but instead we draw notes. Notes can be filled in or they can be empty. On this staff we number our lines bottom to top. One, two, three, four, and five. We also number the spaces. One, two, three, and four. So here is a note. Where is this note? Well, it's on a line, specifically line number two. Here's another note. Where is this note? On a line and specifically line number four. How about this one? In a space, space number two. How about this note? Right, that's in space number four. Here's a note. Line number one. Here's another note. Space number three. Here's a note, and notice that this note is not filled in. It's an empty note. And it's in space number one. Here's another note. Space number four. Here's another note. That one's on line number five. This note is on line number three. And this note is in space number two. So how did you do on all those? Hopefully you're getting the hang of recognizing where notes go. But now you might be wondering, what does this matter for singing? Well, knowing those lines and spaces helps us recognize which notes we're looking at. Let's bring back in some solfege to figure out how this works together. This rectangle is a DO marker. It is not a note. This is just a rectangle, but it tells us where DO goes. So in this case, this DO marker tells us that the note that we're going to call DO is going to be in space number one. So if I bring in a note, and this note is in space number one, then I know that that note is DO. If I bring in a few more notes in the same place, those are also going to be DO. Just for kicks, let's sing this. If this is DO, DO, then I would sing DO, DO, DO. Now that might just be the most boring song in the universe, but there you go, that's how we get started. Let's try another one with notes in different places. We're going to leave DO in the same place. So for now, it's the first space. And we'll start off with right. 
that's probably going to be do. It is, but let's add some different notes this time. How about a note that's up one line and then the next note's in a space. So notice that we are stepping from a space note to a line note to a space note. So you might figure out that these notes are going to be do, re, and me. Let's try singing them. Here's do again. Do, do, re, me. Good. Let's try another one. We're still leaving do in the first space. And so there's our first note again, probably do. And here's our next note. And here's another one. And another one. And one more. So we have five notes. Notice that these go up, alternating space, line, space, line, space. Again, those are going to be called steps, and they are going in order. Do, re, mi, fa, and so. And let's try singing through it. Here's do. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so. Awesome. Let's try another one. This time we are going to move do. And if that's a little different, you better get used to it because do can move. And when it moves, everything moves with it. Just follow along and you'll figure it out. So we're going to move do. And this time we're going to put it on the third line. And here comes a note. And notice that this note is also on the third line. So it's probably going to be do. And here's another note and a third note. So, even though everything is moved to different places, it still starts on Do and it goes up by steps. So it's still going to be Do, Re, and Me. Let's try singing it. Here's Do. Do, Do, Re, Me. Let's try another one. We're going to move Do again. Let's see where it goes this time. Ah, down to the second line. So there's a note that's going to be Do, and here are some more. Now we might have mixed it up just a little, only three little notes, but let's figure out what they are. The first note is in the same place as our Do marker, so that's going to be Do. But the second note is on a line two. There's a skip there. We skipped a note and left one out, so it's not going to be Re. That second note is actually going to be Me. The third note comes back down, so it changes directions and goes downward, and it goes from a line to a space. It's going to be re. So, again, these note, three notes are do, mi, and re. A little bit different. Let's sing it and hear what it sounds like. Here's do this time. Do, do, mi, re. Good. All right. Here's another one. We move Do again. Now it's in the second space. There's a Do note and some more. Okay, so hopefully that pattern that you're looking at looks familiar to you. Five notes in a row, all going up by steps, alternating space, line, space. So if you're thinking these might just be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and So, you're right. Let's hear what it sounds like. Here's our Do marker. Do. Do. Let's put Do this time on the second line, and here's some notes for you. And you can tell these ones are really moving around this time. First note, again, is going to be Do. Not surprising. We will change that eventually, but... Okay, second note skips. Now, one hint here. If you see, for example, you see three notes in a row here, and they go line, line, line. No space notes in between. Line, line, line. Then you can think, I'm probably leaving one note out in between each. So the first one's Do, skipping Re. Mi is going to be here, skipping Fa, going on to So. Then these three notes coming down go line, space, line. So we're not skipping anything. So let's put in our Fa and then Mi again. All right? And here's our Do. Do, Do, Mi, So. Let's put Do down here on the bottom line. There are some notes mixed up again. First note again is going to be Do. 
Second note goes from line to space, the very next note, so that's going to be re. Then we skip space to space, so next will be fa. Then we turn around, go down to mi, and then the last note is do again. Let's sing it. Here's do. Do. Do, re, fa, mi, do. Now, finally, let's have a first note that's not do. So we're going to leave do in the same place on the bottom line and bring in a new note. So notice that the first note this time is not do. It's in a different place. Do's here on the first line. Our first note that we're looking at is on the second line. So this is actually going to be mi. So these notes are mi, re, and do in that order. So this is where it gets tricky. If this is do, do. Where is the first note? Because it's not do. This part can be really tricky for people. You know the first note is me, so it can help if you sing up in your head. I'll sing out loud, but it helps if you get to where you don't have to, and you can kind of sing it in your head. That's called audiating. So, do, re, mi, mi. So that's your first note is me. So let's sing these three notes. Mi, re, do. Awesome. Let's just do one more. I promise this is the last one because you're probably getting tired. So we're going to move Do just a hair up to the first space and bring in a note. And notice that it's in the second space. So we've skipped one. So once again, this first note is going to be Mi. And then So, Fa, Re, and Do. And those are our notes. Now this is going to be really tricky. And we're going to make this easier. Right now we're showing you the staff. If these patterns, you're like, whoa, I can't read that. <laughs> we will build you back up to this. So this is an exercise to teach you about the staff today. If you find this to be really simple, then you can plow right on ahead through lessons. A lot of that just depends on your musical background, instruments you might have already played and things like that. So let's just sing through this one. So here's where Do is. Do. So you have to find your first note, which is me. So again, in your head, you can kind of sing do, re, mi. So that's your first note is me. Now let's try singing this. Mi, so, fa, re, do. Awesome. That lesson taught you a lot of stuff. So congratulations just for getting through it. As always, click here to subscribe and check out some other videos and there will be more to come.